All right. So this is Bird's Foot Golf Club by JWYGO. Came from Reddit. He asked me to have a look at it, so said I would. Um, well, let's get away from these trees. So there's another hole over there. I wonder if that's 18 with the way that that um, grandstand is and everything. We've got an angled fairway. Um, the sculpting here is pretty harsh into a pretty na narrow um, bunker. I mean, overall, it's an entirely playable hole. I and mean, angled fairways can be can be tricky to get right, but doesn't look too bad. And then we've got a reasonably well. It's not it's not a small green necessarily. It's cut into a few shapes, which for the length of the shot left makes sense. Um, that light it would no, that's light rough, isn't it? The light rough is a little bit inconsistent. I, I think if you're going to do that kind of thing, I'd rather that be fairway, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't quite look right to me, but... Oh, this is a pretty good slope I'm on, too. Okay. So it's kind of like an autumn theme here. Nice. All right, Lucas. Yeah, we'll do. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna play it at least once. Yeah, that, and that's where I'm kind of on the fence. I was just like, I agree. I don't like being mean to people, but it really does seem like he brought it on himself. Um, I don't know. It's tough. Okay, here, I'd love to see that bridge be moved somewhere so that it's not right, like it's right in line with the pin. Um, if there's a way to just move it off to the side somewhere, that would be cool. And so this is the second hole. Okay. Okay. Um, the green... I don't love how this bunker on the left is cutting way in like that. Um, I'd rather see that bunker be smaller and then the green be a little bit smaller too. <laughs> yeah. Um, retaining wall is not too bad. Yeah, I would, I would, I would consider moving that bridge, and that would be, and then the yeah, the green. I already mentioned that. Okay. I got distracted. Sorry about that. Yeah, the more I look at that bunker on the right, the more I'm, I'm wishing it was just more of a circular-ish kind of green and then that bunker just get cut back to where the fairway would be or the sorry light rough would uh, fringe jeepers because the pin behind that bunker is going to be what 180 ish that's gonna be rough Well, we know what Maddie thinks. <laughs> yeah, and again, the, the bridge being in the view is unfortunate. Um, it's an uphill tee shot, which is okay. Um, the, I don't, the tree on the left, I might move a little bit because 
would we be able to see those bunkers if the tree wasn't there? Probably. Okay. Again, a small green for a small approach. One feel like maybe that. Well, no. That false front is probably a little bit too long. Like it should start, if you can have that false front, I'd like to see that start a good five or more yards um, shorter than where it is. At least you're not asking me to stick a long iron here, but if you don't hit this fairway, you've got no chance and it's unfortunately it's blind again. And it's only three feet, three or four feet uphill. So there's some sculpting that could be done there and lower that grass too. Um, and then on the right hand side, that's pretty severe. So there's a lot of sculpting that could be done differently. Um, yeah, there's a pretty good drop off back there. So, lots of things that we, you know, newer, and I, I, I have no idea what, um, how, how much this person has designed. But if we assume he's a newer designer, it's a lot of the types of things you see with newer designers. So. The whole, like, the, the hole itself, well, I, I don't, I don't mind the, um, the idea behind it. Just little touch ups here and there would make it a lot better. five um, it's an awful lot of water here a little bit of sculpting the fairway there kind I mean and then we got a fairway in the bunker or sorry fair in the bunker a bunker in the fairway um, so that bunker right, kind of right beside me, I guess if I just go back to putter, we can get over there. Yeah, that, if you're going to have a bunker there, which I'm okay with for the most part, um, just end the fairway. Right, make the fairway be, make the fairway kind of end here, I would say. Let's just kind of have it curve a little bit somehow. Uh, if we look overhead, yeah, you, you could be able to, or just move the bunker over and have it be more to the side. Just having it right in the fairway like that doesn't make a huge amount of sense. This bridge, again, I'd love to see it not be right in the middle because I'm staring at it, and I mean, you could, in theory, hit that thing. Um, and then we're okay. Where's my layup? Okay. So if I want to lay up, well, I've only got 183, but if I wasn't wanting to take this on, I have to just hit a lob wedge and then a sand wedge. Um, that green is just, I'd say that green's probably too small given that there's no run up or anything for a green that you got to carry water i mean i understand that the second shot in a par five and i could i mean i don't have to go for it but 
I just I I have a real hard time hitting a law budge to lay up. Yeah, the bridge just takes that, and then it would be a really good view too. If that bridge wasn't there. Man, you need a bridge to get over the water, I get it, but again, off to the side would be better. I mean, after that, all that complaining, I make eagle, eagle, but yeah, it, it's a good, again, good idea, it's just little polish. Again, this bunker cutting into the fairway is unfortunate. Um, I feel like it's narrow enough already that we don't really need to be narrowing it even more with the bunker coming in. Um, I don't like the idea of hitting a three wood to here because it's it's narrow and I don't want to be in the rough. I don't really like the idea of hitting driver because it's not going to be an easy shot. But given the choice between the two, I think that's what I'm taking. I haven't hit that hard enough. Get through. Oh, got some help from that. Okay, that was lucky. Okay, now that we're here, yeah, there's just some sculpting. If we look on the right-hand side there, um, it's just a little aggressive. There's, there's ways to smooth that so that it looks a little bit more natural and not kind of like mountainy. Bunkers are a bit on the flatter side here. Um, yeah, so again, I, I don't know if this guy knows about TGC Tours. Um, he very well might not. If you want to learn how to create really good golf courses, that's the place to be. Um, there's a lot of cool people there to help. Oh, heads up. No, no. <laughs> oh, Phil. And then the green. I, I didn't have much in, did I? But that's because I, I don't know. It's, it's reason. I mean, it's, it's got room to run it up, so it's reasonable. All right, boys. I think you guys have made your points. Just saying. Ooh. I love a drivable par four. Um, I love it more when I can see the green. I'm not sure about the, well, no, I'm absolutely sure about the bunker in the, bunker in the back middle. There's, I know it's the sixth at Riviera, something like that, that has a, a bunker in the middle of the green. Um, but it's actually in the middle. There's no room to really have anything behind that bunker. So if that's the case, then just have it behind the green. Like all that's gonna happen now is somebody somehow ends up on the green back there. Like,
so it's the length of the hole that's causing the issues here, and which is absolutely fine. It's not a criticism. It's just the driver that I use makes this hard for me to decide what to do. So if, if we don't make this blind, there's an option to lay up. The bunkers on the right I'm not loving, to be honest. Again, so I'll just make one last comment about that. Bunkers cutting or being in the middle of fairway or in the fairway or cutting into the fairway or anything like that usually don't work too well. Um, otherwise, I get I get the, what the thinking of this hole is. Sculpting again, which that shouldn't be in front of the green. I mean, thank you, but it shouldn't be there. Um, Is that out of bounds I'm seeing? Okay. What's down here? Alright. Well that makes I mean that makes some sense because you could get stuck down there behind a rock and then have nothing, so okay. It's a good use of out of bounds, I'd say. Um I think the one thing I'd really like to see with this course is the framing. I mean, especially in the greens. I like the way the bunkers sit the way I can see them from the tee. I wish I could see the green a bit more, especially given that we're now in hill nineteen feet. That might be a shadow thing more than anything. It's hard to say. Um, but then the way the bunkers sit don't really. I mean, if it's just for if they're there just for cosmetic value, then great. But they really shouldn't come into play. I would hope. <laughs> I'm gonna probably knock one in that one now, but. Oh, I didn't play it far enough left. The one on the right's in play for sure. For the bunkers, there's a guy called, and again, I'm, I'm, if you're not part of TGC Tours, you won't know this guy. Crazy Canuck 1985. I really like how he does bunkers. He gets that. What's the, Maddie? You know, what's the what's the um, bunker tool that Canuck uses a lot? Fuzzy brush, okay. Jay Ray, you know too. <laughs> Sorry, I just I saw Maddie's name up in it. So yeah, the fuzzy brush works really well for creating bunkers, and then you can get a bit creative with them and not just have them be kind of stock shapes. You can create some really neat looking bunkers. Um, I I wouldn't necessarily start with this, but he's got a series going right now where he's creating his course from scratch that everybody can see him doing it and how he does it. Um, it's pretty cool to see. Um, and he's a extremely well respected in the TGC tour com um, community as one of the one of the better designers that that there is so um, I, I agree but I do like how he shapes them I like how Canuck shapes his bunkers he did try to use Matt F's in his video there but he went back to what he I just like how he how he does it um, I, looking at Matt F's would be a good idea too and then see how they both do it and pick which one works better for you Because Matt F usually traces them and then uses a circle one, right? And then fills them all in. Like he uses those distance tools to f do it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, we got the church pews here. Um... Church pews is a—it's an aggressive move. Um, again, can't—I don't know if it's the lighting or what it is. There's something that's making me not be able to see any fairway, which is unfortunate. Um, church pews are usually something that you might want to save until you get really super good at the game, and then at the designing, and then even then you might not want to do it. It's kind of overdone, in my opinion, at least.
It's just Matt F, Axel. Like, literally, Matt Cap, like, Matt F. I think there might be a space. I'm not positive. If you just, just if you search Joy Planting, you'll find them. That's his, um, Matt FT. 27 TGC, I think, is his Twitch. I think it's just Matt F on YouTube, but... Anyways, if Joy of Planting, you'll find it. See, again, we're... I mean, we're blind. I don't know if this was intended to be blind with it being uphill. Maybe. Um... I'm just going to hammer a driver up here because I'm not really too sure what else to do. This isn't going to go well, but that's all right. Nah, it didn't come over as much as I expected. Bounce it? No. Oh, kind of. So if that's a, if that's a three-shot par five, and it kind of felt like it was, the second shot was just... There wasn't kind of a, a, a clear... I don't know. There's something missing there, I think. That one needs to chill a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, um, when you're watching this video, check out the chat. Um, when they're talking about the bunkering right now, they're giving a lot of really good suggestions. Um, the blimp, that's fun, but it does often end up kind of looking a bit silly uh okay what's the plan here so we've kind of split the fairway neither neither shot looks particularly safe to me I mean three what I guess isn't gonna run through well it might and the driver very certainly can. I think it's a three-wood shot, but we'll see. Um, but again, we can't see the fairway, which is unfortunate. It is framed pretty well by the trees, but especially with the bunkering down here, I want to be. I, I think I need to be able to see that. Ah, I fasted it. If this kicks right, we might be good. Okay, that's not at all where I intended to go, and we're gonna be fine. So. Yeah, I don't know. That the tee shot's a bit interesting. It's hard to It's hard to kind of figure it. Um and then given that we're coming over water, I mean I, I do have a, a short iron in, but the green might be just a hair on the shallow side. Um Yeah. There's some potential here. Just some kind of fundamental stuff to make the course better. Heads up, Pin. You're about to get whacked. Yeah. I mean, I think that's... That's kind of why I was bringing up different ways to make bunkers, was to try to get that and then not really beat that to death. Okay, so drivable par 4. Are those cart signs there? Looks like it. Yeah, cool. Cool little details like that are always fun. Um, okay, so we got tons of room to lay up to if we want. Talked about bunkers cutting in. Um... There's water to the right, which would be the disincentive for going for the green, especially the way that water or that slopes down there. That slopes pretty aggressively, actually. I might smooth that a bit, but that's maybe my disincentive for going for it. But chat wouldn't be very happy with me if I didn't try. Ah, and I, I've yanked it. I 
And then the planting there is just kind of all of a sudden, I don't know, it doesn't really fit. Now this is where the rendering on PlayStation can kind of make it look differently, where it'll just kind of disappear, but I think it's just there. If that's meant to be a hazard for around the green, like the thing is, this doesn't really play any differently, so I don't know that we need it. Um, and it just, yeah, it just kind of comes from nowhere. Uh, I'm not sure. I've lost count, to be honest, Drives. Hey there, Didi. How's it going? Um, the bunkering, like the stock shapes, like we've kind of already mentioned it pretty good. So, um, kind of had a bit of a discussion in chat, especially about how to make bunkers better. So, I don't, I, I try not to repeat myself too much. I already do it enough in every part of my life. Okay, uphill par three. So I can see the pin here, and it's uphill, so it's okay. This is blind. Again, that bunker there, though, I'd like to be able to see it. And the one back here, too. Back bunkers, when they're raised, can really frame a hole nicely. Um, this one, eh, we're dropping down pretty good, so I mean, that's an 8-foot drop. And then this thing, I see this a lot, where because of the way this has been brought down, and then this hasn't really been flat, so now you end up with this really aggressive slope here that you wouldn't see in real life. This would be, it would kind of come up here and then it would kind of be flatter. It wouldn't be that severe. Um, and then on the left, it's dropping down. Yeah, about the same. Um, I mean, it's a decent enough size green, so. Yeah, I agree with you there, um, especially in this game where bunkers are easy. But the one thing I did like about that slope there is it gave me um, an option to run it around and get close to this hole. But I think the hole would play better without that being there. Um, and then, yeah, Didi's talking about the bunker on the left. I kind of agree. Like a grass bunker down there might, might play a lot better. And um, I don't know. And since we can't see it anyways, you're not losing anything um, visually. Okay. So now we've got, this is a par 5. Okay, the green is where? Over here. Alright. Um, that willow tree is bothering. That willow tree, I can't see any of the fairway because of it. And the willow trees just kind of ugly as a whole I'd rather see the fairway than that tree personally and then I think it would potentially be a cool view out there actually you'd see all the water and everything that bunker there I don't mind as much because it's there to try to make you know there to do that is what it's there for <laughs> um and then uh this sloping is unfortunate so can i get this thing to get no i got no hope that was always a that was aggressive play by me um i feel like if you run it down that hill it might never it might not stop and it might go right off the back um, which would be pretty harsh. Like I just the depends on the. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. I think it. I think it might. It might just get bundling down there and be gone. I yeah, I agree completely, Caleb. I completely agree completely. There's. There's some ideas here that are really cool. Um, just about learning the fundamentals to um, 
make pull it off better, execute it better, I guess, which comes with time. One thing I'd be really curious about, I don't know if anybody here knows, but are there any really great designers out there that aren't part of TGC Tours that just are really good at designing courses? I, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so we've got a long par 3 here with a, just a kind of, what, rectangle green, I guess? And then there's a backstop back there, but... I don't know. So I'm gonna go, this this is missing something in my opinion. Again, I think because of the the way this is harsh, I might I can't really see the green. And part, I mean at the same time, that could just be my eyesight's terrible. Oh, you don't want to slow it when there's water, right? It's coming over eventually. Okay, what happens when we hit the slope now? Okay, that worked out. That actually worked not too bad. Yeah, I, I I would imagine, right? Right, the OG club. That's right. You would think, right? Drives? I mean, that's one of the strengths of TGC is that it's got the... Um, it's got that community that which really helps each other, but... There's probably somewhere somebody out there who nobody's ever heard of and is creating these great golf courses that nobody's probably playing because they don't know about them. Um, hmm. So this hole is 102 feet uphill. The fairway is quite narrow. You've got the trees just kind of in order, like they're just in a line. This hole again has. It has the ability to be really good. It's just, oh, game freaked out there. McTrees, appreciate that, man. Thanks for the sub. Hope you enjoyed um, Amiobi scoring at the new camp there. But uh, no, appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're at the 15th hole. I wonder if we're getting to a point here where we're running out of ideas. I don't know. We're blind again. That seems to be a signature of this place. Is It's just everything's blind. Mm, next course, I would look into trying to open up the view a bit more. Like design it as if you had to play it in real life. I think that that's usually a good way to make the courses. If, if it would work in real life, it'll work in the game. All right, Adam. Oh yeah, McTrees, enjoy your Amiobi emote that you have now, and your member badge, which is his shirt, I think. And I'm working on the rest. Okay, oh, we split here. Yeah, this, this, um, this course started out pretty decently, and it's kind of gradually just getting away from him a little bit, which is unfortunate. Um... The fairway is split. What I'm trying to figure out is why would I ever go down the left? Because there's out of bounds left. So, I and I over here it opens things up. It might be shorter on the left, but I don't really see why I would ever go over there. So then, if that's the case, why have fairway there? It's something to think about. Yeah, I agree, Drives. 
And now we've got a massive downhill that we can't see any of. Um, I mean, this has the potential to be a really awesome view, but we can't see it. So, just again, something to look at. So we're, I'm just guessing for this. Is that going to be enough to get there? Hmm, it was close. Okay. That that was that hole was just a hair on the adventurous side. Um, really large elevation changes like that can get. They can, they can, if they work, they can be really cool and spectacular, but more often they just they don't, and then they get ugly. Um, okay, so we probably got out of. So there's a little bit of OB over here. What's the? Oh, okay. So if you ever got stuck on the cliff. All right, now here's the issue. It's, well, maybe it's not potentially drivable, because of the way that this has been done. Um, but even if it was, you can't really run it down that hill. So the, the only real shot that makes any sense here is to hit a three wood. So just strategically, it would be cool to have something to do other than just, I mean, you could hit driver to the end of the fairway, I guess. What was that, McTrees? Didn't hear you. Um, okay. And then this green blind, unfortunate. Again, the, you can, and I think, again, not familiar with TGC tours, but yes, I know I can do this. But I, I, like, I like to just be able to sit here and see the view as well, like in real golf. And especially because I don't go straight to the ball tracing. I like to see it up in the sky and... I'd love to be able to see what I'm doing here. This might be too much club. See, I like to leave it like this. Oh, I'm in the water. Oops. Because that was just pathetic. <laughs> okay, so let's let's remember that there's there's a slope there too. Okay, but yeah, I, I like to be able to leave it like that and like kind of trace it with the pin. And if it's blind, we can't do that. So like even even forgetting the fact that you know it's not it's a video game and it's even nice to be able to do that kind of thing. So come on. And the greens overall have been okay. There hasn't been anything crazy with the sculpting of them. They've they've been for the most part. You know, good. Um, and then yeah, so we got elevation here. Hmm, just about. So here the bridge works better because it's not right in front of me now. If it's a different wind, maybe I'm right in front of it, but I, I would look at bridges again being off to the side, but I've already said that, so. Uh, I don't know if this gets there, but I'm pretty sure four iron goes too far. Oh, we can run it in. Nice. Get in. Yeah. I guess I'm not sure if, four, if that gets there. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Over it, it. It was. I mean, there's potential there. I mean, there's there's some stuff to work on, but there's potential. Like, it's not like you don't know how to design a course. You you, you know you have some good strategy ideas in places. Um, it did kind of feel towards the end that we kind of ran out of ideas a little bit, which isn't unusual. 18 holes is a lot to do, but. There's enough there that um, you could make some really, really good golf courses with just a little bit of um, 
help with fundamentals and and just maybe how you're looking at the whole like again kind of looking at it as it, it does this work in real life i think is is not a bad standard to go by um because if it works in real life it'll work in the game if it doesn't work in real life it might work in the game it might not um so yeah we already did jerry today um so yeah, just that kind of stuff. So if, you, if you're interested in really moving forward with design, what I'd recommend, TGC Tours, um, their site and their form are really great. And then Crazy Canuck 1985 has a lot of really good tutorial videos covering the, the uh, fundamentals of sculpting and shaping and surfacing and transitioning and that kind of stuff. And then BU 101 TGC um, has kind of more strategic and kind of more intermediate stuff most of the top design or a lot of the top designers story have, have started there and they've gone on to make some awesome courses so I would, I would encourage you to check that out um those are both on youtube so look at those two tutorials on youtube and then take another crack at it because there's something there it just it just needs some fine tuning um i hope that was helpful um yeah